Hello and welcome to www.itisnotta.com. It is a Wine Wednesday Wonderings, a weekly whimsical Wednesday of whining. If you are watching this video, then that means I truly value your voice and that I would like to officially invite you to participate in a triple W or a tri dub. Now, I'm doing this because lately, as working class adults, I've noticed that we don't take the time to actually learn about things that are um, unknown to us. You know, we'll kind of just shrug it off and be like, eh, I don't know it, but I don't care. But I would like to restoke that curiosity that we used to have and actually get ourselves to do research and then present on that research in order to have that information stay within us better. So since the best way to learn is to teach, that's what this tri -dub is. It is our weekly meeting for us to get together, do research, then present on that previously unknown topic that could have nothing to do with our work uh, for us to hold on to that material better, while also being able to get together uh, in the middle of the week to have social interaction and have bite-sized free lessons from our fellow participants who have also done research and are presenting. So these are basically mini TED Talks performed by our friends and should be a good time. It's going to be every Wednesday at 7 p.m. until we get kicked out by our hosts. Just some examples of things that you could research. They could be as complex or simple as you want. Uh, for me, the first thing that I'm going to research is how the heck Wi-Fi and service and data and our telephone wires and satellites, how do they all connect? And what does it mean when we're using this much data? And why do we have service in some areas that have cell phone towers? I just don't know how it all connects. So I want to, you know, look that up and let you guys know afterwards. Uh, I was talking with Alexa and she was wondering how CDs and record players actually how, how is music stored on these things? It doesn't make sense. I don't understand it. Hopefully Alexa will be able to explain it a little bit to us. Uh, a whole bunch of just other examples. What the hell is the G spot? There's no photo for that one. There's no photo here. Um, <laughs> why does uh, temperature decrease with elevation increase? I was talking with Ethan on this for quite some time and it's like, is it just less pressure? And so there's fewer air molecules and so less like fewer atoms hitting each other? I don't know. Let's find out. Why do knuckles crack, uh, crack so much? And why does it feel so good? And uh, how do weird shaped shells like this one get bigger? So in order to share our answers with group, we should have a standard formatting of a tri -dub. I'm thinking that for our sign up sheet, it should be first come first serve. If we get more busy, then we might have too many people to present, then we do have time, which sounds super cool, but that will also encourage people to sign up early. Uh, also the duration, we should try and keep everything around 10 minutes. So maybe a 10 minute presentation, and if it's a really good one and there's lots of dialogue and people asking lots of questions, you know, we should do like 30 minutes, uh, in which case we would want to format it by first just stating the original question or multiple questions, and then sharing the answer that you found. So very, very simple, very standard. Uh, and it's also really encouraged for the participants to actually ask questions afterwards uh, so that they don't forget. It would be nice for everyone to have notepads so that they can write down their questions to the presenter at the end, as well as questions that they may have for afterwards. As the presenter, you want to do your homework really well. You want to be prepared and feel like you understand the topic enough to answer these questions, almost like uh, practice if you're defending yourself for a thesis at the end of a, at the end of a master's program or something like that. Inability to answer these questions would lead to some like deeper investigation by either an audience member or maybe everyone's like, eh, who cares? Uh, but either way, we'll probably dive deeper into the subject and it opens up for some really cool dialogue. Uh, one thing is though that references are definitely going to be required. Now this is not college, this is not a university. We're not going to be, uh, like it doesn't matter. You can use YouTube, you can use Wikipedia, who cares? As long as we are able to reference where you got that information from and we can draw a line back to that. Um, and then also at the end of that meeting or beginning of that meeting, we will announce hopefully the next location for the next week and if there's a potential theme. Uh, some weeks we might want to do a 
week focused on environmentalism or conservation, sustainability. That way we can have SEA hours count for that. Some tips on how you can succeed in your first tri dub. First, become a mini expert in your tiny topic. Be prepared for people to ask questions and hopefully you'll be able to answer them. Everyone will be really impressed and you will be very proud of yourself too. Uh, second, don't be afraid to reach for difficult topics. Difficult often means complicated, which often means interesting. If you couldn't find the answer to everything that you were curious about, that is totally normal. Uh, you can open your question up to the audience to get other views. Maybe someone in the audience will actually know a few things about your topic, and then this can lead to an enlightening and fun rapport with growth for, uh, for everyone involved. Uh, three, have fun and be yourself. You are among friends, and this is just a, an opportunity for everyone to learn something. So have fun with it and be yourself up there. It gives you some good practice for when you're in front of people that maybe aren't so much just your friends. Uh, four, very important, uh, bring snacks to share. 100% we want lots of snacks or like full on dinner, beverages, all that fun stuff. And number five, I am uh, very much a believer that some people are visual learners, that they need something to see and maybe grasp. So if you can have a visual aid, uh, or have a whiteboard or something to at least write something down, write the definition down, draw an illustration. You can draw out your concept and it will aid your audience's grasp of the subject. And it, it's really helpful if you have extra notepads or pens, you know, so that people can actually write down their notes and questions. And while yes, I would encourage you to go all out uh, and do your very best for a presentation, Remember that this is not actually uh, something to be stressed over. There is no minimum presentation time. You don't need to make a PowerPoint. You don't need to bring visual aids, nothing like that. If you learned something earlier in the day and then came to this fun tri-dub, um, you could come up and just share that information with us. It is literally just an opportunity for us to look into things a little deeper and actually learn about things when we feel like we don't have enough time for it sometimes, that there's not a reason to keep on learning. And I know that we are all busy working adults. Ain't nobody got time for a thick ass PowerPoint with visual aids every week. <laughs> we are not doing science. Um, we're not creating any new information out into the world. We're not doing experiments. This is just for us. This is just to encourage us to keep on learning. And um, while you don't need to present anything to come to one of these meetings or to attend or anything like that, the purpose of this is for us. It's so that we can actually just present this new information that we found in order to understand better ourselves. It's a little tiny bit of pressure just to get us to learn the topic better to keep us learning and to keep us curious. So if you like the idea, there's not much that we have to do before we get started um, because we really don't need anything. We can go into a park or into someone's house and we can just like share stories about what we learned. But if we do wanna get a few materials, uh, the simplest thing would be to just get a whiteboard with markers and maybe a stand. Or if somebody's got a big TV that we can connect to, it would be awesome to do some PowerPoints. Um, and also it'd be great to bring wine, beverages, and snacks, food, whatever. It's good stuff. But we'll be changing the location each week. This is something that I think I need some help with because uh, there's only so many places that you can go to actually drink. If we want to drink much, we could actually set up in a bar or in someone's house, maybe some parks that don't have cops come around too often or something. I don't know. But if we're not drinking, we could definitely set up in a library or a community center, potentially with regularity. But um, in general, if anyone has an idea of a location that they'd be willing to offer up, let me know. Some final closing comments. For those of us who are SEA members, certain weeks we can have a focus or a theme of conservation, sustainability, uh, the parks, anything that you're already working on you can actually do a research topic on something that relates to your position. 
in which we can count this for work hours. And we could also even invite our supervisors. It could be a lot of fun. We could get them to present. We could bring in some guest speakers. Uh, in which case, it would be really cool if we actually recorded some of our presentations. So if uh, I have permission, I think it would be really cool to get some video footage recorded and we can make a very simple YouTube channel that we can refer back to, which, you know, if you do a good enough presentation, maybe you would even want to show this to a uh, potential, I don't know, employer or something. Uh, but yeah, definitely please contact me if you would be willing to host one of these tri-dubs. I'm going to be coming up with an event calendar soon, so that way we can tell where we're going to be and book some people up. And I'll also produce a shared Google document so that we can have all of the subjects that have already been presented, as well as topics that are suggested. Maybe some other people can jump on that if they don't have an idea of their own, but still want to participate and do a presentation. And also know that this is more than just like a weird coming together and presenting type thing. This is a fun networking, social connection between people. And we can share information about uh, causes coming up or upcoming events. Like on October 2nd, there is a Women's March in response to the abortion banning going on in Texas. Uh, so a few of us are going to be heading up to New Hampshire and it'd be cool to get more people going. There's also uh, salsa nights if you want to go dancing or if anyone just has some problems or projects that they want to talk out, uh, we could act as a nice sounding board. We're just, we're here for you. All right, that's it. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, or you would like to host one of these, give me a call or text me or send me an email. Very responsive, as you guys know. Thanks, you guys.